Tope versus Ven. Ven, a Vegas Zelda. Tope, a uh, from NorCal. Obviously, a commentator. You, you, you probably know him. Uh, commentates Melee with Scar. And also commentates Ultimate as well. He's here commentating Ultimate. So, really great guy. Plays Inkling in Ultimate. So, hmm. I got to play a lot of friendlies with him at uh, Summit. Yeah. Last Summit. So, it was, it was super fun. He's really good. I mean, Tof is I mean, Tof's just macho. Yes. Macho, yes. like, actually enjoys the game. You know what I'm saying? Likes to commentate it. So, I mean, you can't really ask for much more uh, than that. So, dude's a homie. But Ven, man, I mean, Ven is sick. Yes. Like, I, you know, I get a chance to watch those uh, Vegas tournaments every now and then. And anytime I see Ven on this, it's definitely a problem. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. And, I mean, this man mained Zelda in Smash 4. And let me tell you, man, Zelda was horrible in that game. I don't think Zelda's as bad in this game. Um, so Zelda definitely got a huge upgrade coming into Ultimate. Yeah. As as a, a lot of characters did. So I, I, you see Ven do a lot of stuff. Zelda's got a lot of cool setups with the uh, the Phantom Knight actually being like pretty damn good in this game. So really want to see it, and we'll see how both these competitors pan out. No doubt about it, man. It's going to be fun, no doubt about it. I hope you guys are doing well up in the chat. So again, we're only going to, to 128 today. Right. Because tomorrow's just going to be absolute bloodbath it is going to be of competition now it's all 128 uh best of five or that i don't know okay. i don't know if best of five starts at like that. top 64 sure, top 32. Sure. all right well we'll get those answers for you guys a little bit later meanwhile we got ven uh, again one of the maybe the most talented zelda out there i, mean, I yeah, yeah i don't think there's any yeah. contention or in my opinion yeah I no I, I agree with you like i can't think of anybody else who i would put above him in, uh except for uh midwest mysteria i think oh mysteria yeah, yeah. She, she's pretty good as well yeah. So definitely like a little bit of a, a rat race there, no doubt about it. But a lot of people might agree, Vanu Superior. We'll find out how well he does this tournament. Oh. I mean, Toe finding out the hard way mm. as those hits stacking up awfully quick. And that first stock, and nothing but a memory. Yeah. Wow. And, you know. You know what? Uh, Zelda is not the most common character, so it's uh. Whoa, we going? It's been a while since you play Wi-Fi, huh? Unless you play Wi-Fi. <laughs> if you play Wi-Fi, there's a there's an army of Zeldas there out go. there in the Wi-Fi world. Ask Kony. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> you're not wrong. I about love that. Cody's tweets, man, about Wi-Fi Zelda. It's great. Not about definitely tough, but then bringing the ferocity in person, and I mean, Toast just looks a little lost for wear. And as you said, though, I mean, how often does he get like an opportunity to practice against a Zelda anywhere near this this caliber? Yeah, exactly. It, it's, know, tough. it's tough. It's rough. But There's a reflector, and yeah, I mean, that gonna have access to the reflector and Splat Bomb, such a you know, backbone, such a core to the Inkling tool set, yeah. and just having that used against you, it, it's rough, especially when it, like, really helps your ledge trapping and all that jazz. Oh. Ooh, there's the back air coming in hot. Ooh, the double parry on the up air. All right, all right, man. Kind of kind of showing off right yeah, now. Yeah, just a little bit. Just kind of let you know he plays the game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just a little bit. Yeah. Okay, setting up the Phantom Knight once again, and that's what happened. I mean, when you give Zelda too much space, these Phantom Knights are going to come out. But the call out from Toe, where are you dashing back to? Right into this up smash. Trying to get the jab Ooh, going, okay. of course. Inkling jab does a ton of damage. Yeah. So, and you got to watch out for the Phantom Knight. Tries to call out the jump. He essentially has to watch out for everything. I mean, 135, like, yikes. Oh, man. Yeah, even the dibs fire, man. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, I like the get up attack. Trying to get a little bit of pressure off his back. And they're always with the setup, ready to go. Yeah, and even uh, trying to back air through the night can be a problem in itself because it is like oh, somewhat of a body, man. Catch. Dang, just up, up we go. Ben just going to toss him straight up for that kill. Uh, Zelda also has a killing back throw as well, so. Wait, okay, gets the nair. Is the lead trap going to be again. Oh, I love that. Yeah, yeah, just reflected right back to him. Yeah, that splat bomb. It's gonna it's gonna be harder to get these lead traps if uh, I mean it's either Tope is gonna have to really switch up how he uses the splat bomb or just not use it at all for these lead traps. Right. There's the down tilt and look at this patient wait and this time Tope not. Oh opting. okay, okay. rolling. Up this smash. Could be big. Yes, okay. it is. All right, Tope. I mean, absolutely decimated on that first stock, but he's definitely making a contest out of it now. Yeah, this is a really good job because. Another thing, too, is we saw him get that stock because he didn't really go for the splat bomb there. He just opted to go for just a vanilla ledge trap with the corner pressure, got the roller, got the early stock, and that's where Inkling can be deadly. If you're getting these up throw up air confirms, if you're getting these roller confirms, that's when the character's just insane because your, your neutral's so broken, and oh. then, like, you're killing at 100. Man, speaking of ledge trap, though. Oh, okay, man. I like I like the setup. Oh, oh no, that's no. so unfortunate. One more. 
Uh, one more dash would have got the grab he was looking for, but just ended up in a very precarious situation or that back throw was enough. That that one hurts me because yeah. uh, he had the read. Exactly. Uh, that's why I said like, it's like one more dash and he would have he been there. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, that, those ones are always a tough pill to swallow, but you know what? You just got to – you just got to smile and move on, and that's what Tove's doing right now. <laughs> it is what it is, man. I mean, I don't think too many people would have gave Tove a chance in this one, but I think he some, some good adaptation in the first one. Yeah, he's doing great. And um, I think Tove's neutral is actually, like, really, really good. And it's uh, – I, I, like I said, I don't know how experienced he is in this matchup, but, I mean, he adapted really, really well, yeah. considering how bad that, you know, first off went for him. And because there's so many different tools he's dealing with, right? There's the Phantom Knight, which Zelda can kind of like hold on to and then either come in or retreat with. So a lot of different tools he's dealing with here. Bro, what is on Toast's shirt? Put that phone down, man. <laughs> what you trying to hide? It's like a little mutation going on. I thought it was one of those. I don't know how to pronounce it, but you know what I'm talking about. Okay, yeah, let's not say, say that. I said I didn't know how to pronounce it, man. I was just asking a question, man. <laughs> it's all good, though, baby. It's all good. <laughs> let's get it. Game number two. Again, Here's uh, something else. <laughs> yeah, I was just saying, man. I'm just <laughs> making observations that probably the chat's probably thinking about, too. Shout out to Twitch chat, by the way. You got yeah, I actually just said observation. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing gets past the chat, man. I got to look to know. <laughs> Look at this, though, man. Look at this turnaround, though. Look at my man Toaf just putting in some work right now against Ben. Wow, I'm surprised that sidestep did not get covered by the jab there. Okay, so, ooh, shooting the spire shot the wrong way, but the knight not coming through all the way here. And I love how Toaf is especially adapting the ledge trap because, you know, ledge trapping is so big in this game, right? So you, being able to do that is such a big deal. But now at 109%. Yep. Oh, oh, Van. Yes. What? Van, did you see what that, that was just coverage? Yes. That was just, I'm going to bait you to go here, but you shouldn't actually be there. Can we talk about high, how high the Phantom Knight slashes, though? Yeah, I know. Like, that that's, was. That's why we got some range on it. Like, and, and two, Toast Craig, maybe didn't expect it. Yeah. Two, but I mean, Van is just, just another caliber of Zelda, man. Gotta appreciate this. Jeez, Van is out here trying to end this man's second stalk Dude, so with good. style. All right, so really kind of getting shades of that first game they played in which it was a really strong oh, and dominant performance man. from Ben early on. And, and to, to his credit, was able to mount a, a slight comeback, but I don't know if that's going to be the case for game two. Ben seems a little more engaged this time, Korean. Yeah. Not really leaving too many holes in this offensive defense, but there's really nothing you can do when you get scooped up like that. You can confirm into the up air. Up yep. throw, up air. Really good stuff coming out from England. Definitely one of the uh, more stronger tools that Inkling has access to the up throw, up air, especially at those kill percentages, man. And you can use it for comboing at the lower percent. But it just, it feels like Ben is a lot more confident in his reads this game. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like going for that uh, forward air trade there and just getting those kills, getting those setups that Zelda can be so strong for. Oh Another my. lightning kick? Wow, bro. Damn. And I feel like he threw out the dare just trying to like bait him off the ledge and then just had the lightning kick to cover perfectly. 